It's Diddy K and I'm back with another video. Guess what? Things have went from bad to critical. It has been absolutely terrible. So if you haven't watched yesterday's video, make sure you go watch that. Now, the van was messed up, right? We thought it was the spark plugs. I'm like, okay, cool. We're gonna get the spark plugs done. We took it to the mechanic. They did the spark plugs. We also got some brand new tires. So we spent four, like $1,400 all together to get that done. So the next day come, it's Friday. We trying to pull up and get this money like it ain't funny. So we ride, we on the highway, we get up on the off, the off ramp. And next thing you know, we get to a stoplight. And I kind of felt the van do a little, a little sputter a little bit. Our business partner, like she, she felt the two paws, but I don't, we don't really know 100% if that was what it was. So we're like, maybe it's because we're on this bridge and some cars uh, drove past and it made the van move a little bit. So maybe we were tweaking. So we pull into the parking lot at our, our regular spot that we go to. Everything is cool. We get two orders from Rody, Rody, Rody with a dab wrench. We get two Rody orders back to back like Drake said. We were trying to pull up and get that bread. But instead, guess what happened? We drive in there and the van get the tweaking. I'm talking about it get the sputtering, the check engine light, get the blinking on and off. So we pull in this parking lot and this what happened. Well guys, we were wrong. It was not the spark plug. We don't know what it is, but this joint turned off on us and it keep turning off. Trying to turn it on again. This joint. Critical. Comment below and let me know what is this? What is going on? This drink will not turn back. It's gonna turn back on. We're gonna try to get it to the dealership at least. If not, we just gotta see it. And we just had two orders again. It's crazy. You guys saw what happened. Absolutely terrible. First off, the, when we try to turn the van back on, that joint would not cut on. So we just kept on trying over and over and over again. And finally that, jank, that joint came on and it was sounding absolutely terrible. Here we go right here. It's, it's shaking, dude. That engine's shaking, man. It is pretty cold. I don't know what it could be. We put the new spark plugs in there. I was thinking, could it be gas? Could it be the gas? I'm not sure. Comment below and let me know. If you're a mechanic and you know what this could be, let me know right now. We gotta get it towed to the dealership. It's still running though. But how long is that gonna last? So as you guys can see, we're not gonna be able to drive this van anywhere. It's not gonna happen. We ain't gonna be able to go pick up no body orders. We had to cancel our two body orders and we also had a D L I V R D B about to pull up right now so we can get this cheese delivered at. We also had a deliver order that we were supposed to do a little bit later on that day. So that's another $150 we missed out on. So it's, it's been going absolutely critical. So what we're gonna do right now is reach out to AAA so we can get the clapping. Hey, baby. Y'all see what's going on. It's critical. We're getting this joint told. Dang. It's real. It is real. This is not a fake. This is not a clickbait. So you guys saw the van get towed. They actually took the van to the dealership. Then after that, my mom picked us up. We slid, we got Snow White. We went back to the dealership, let's know everything that's going on. Now, why don't we call? My mom said, why don't you just call them? Absolutely not. With this dealership, you can't just call them. I need to go there in person to explain everything to them because guess what? Something's always seems to magically happen for some odd reason. Every time we gotta take the van to the dealership, either they can't duplicate the problem or there's this, there's, there's that, there's, there's always some issues. So. What we decided to do was go ask to the dealership ourselves and let them know everything that's going on and make sure everything is wrote down in the notes so, so they know what's going on. So boom, they said they're gonna reach out to us between four and 5 p.m. Guess what, that never happened. So now we did talk to them and tell them, look, if, if y'all gonna have to keep the van for multiple days, we're gonna need a loaner, which we are in right now. I'm gonna show you, see you guys soon, but hold on. So we get there on Monday to pick up the loaner and guess what? Now the guy is telling us that the tech, the, uh, the number one tech guy that they have, he called in sick for some odd reason. He called in sick, so now we got to at least keep this loaner van for at least two days. The dude may be supposed to be coming back on tomorrow, but we don't know. So you guys are gonna find out everything you need to find out as soon as we get the chance. We really trying to go our hand run up these vans. I hope you guys understand, but I guess it ain't been in the plans. So I don't know what's going on. It's been critical. Um, these are multiple things that's been going on, right? So, I'm gonna give you guys a backstory. I forgot to tell you guys about this because I didn't think about it. My business partner brought it to my attention. I'm like, you are right. The same day the van got to tweak it like that, it was messing up a little bit earlier in the day, but it wasn't having to do with how it was running. Like the camera, like this thing right here, is like we have a, a 360 camera on there and all these different, different camera angles on there. 
and that joint like the radio like kind of like was stuck on the camera like and it usually goes off after you go like 10 to 15 miles per hour it just turns off by itself but that joint was stuck then it turned black right then we turned the van off and then we turned it back on and it was still doing it then we turned it off turned it back on again and it was like this the uh the radio was flickering it was like doing a lot of flicker, like, like it was just flickering so i don't know maybe they got something to do with it and then it also brings you to this so instead of them telling us that what was wrong with the van on friday they called and asked us did we buy the van brand new and also did we get any electrical work done on the van i don't know what they're talking about i don't I, they might be trying to finesse they might be trying to finesse they might try to void warranties and all that stuff but look i guess what i'm not going for it because we got everything documented and look it is what it is they do have a new manager over there now so hopefully things but last time that new when the new manager first came there let me tell you this the new manager first came there guess what happened either they left our van outside in the rain with the window down or they put it through the car wash and the window was let down we get in the van one day all the whole seat wet the seat wet the armrest wet everything is just wet and it's a whole big old puddle of water right here we called them told them about that they act like they don't know what's going on. Y'all know exactly what's going on. Y'all did something. I don't know what it is, but something happened. So that's the type of stuff we've been having to deal with with this dealership. And to be honest with you guys, that's the reason why I did not take the van in there in the first place. Because first off, they probably ain't going to have no open spots for us to bring the van in there anyway. And then secondly, it always seems to be an issue with every time we go there. So I probably, I just want to avoid that problem. So that's what's going on right now. But I will say this on the bright side, they did change some things because all the times we got a loaner van, that, oh, that joint was a hunk of junk. They had the uh, two by four connector right here taped to, the, to this part so you can, the armrest can stay up like this. It was critical. Guess what? We got a newer van this time. This van literally only has 3,600 miles on it. And it's a 2023. And guess what? Y'all about to see it. And hopefully we can get busy. Let's go. <clears throat> Y'all see it, baby. This is it. This is a 2023 Mercedes Sprinter van. 144 wheelbase, but this is the 3500, baby. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. This joint drives different than the other one. I ain't gonna lie, it drives this different. I don't know what it is about it. It's like the way it shifts gears and everything, it's just way different. But this is a high roof, too. Yeah, we ain't seven tall. Y'all know me hit the ball, not stall. You got the bulk here right there, and you can fit two pallets in this 3500. But this joint nice. I ain't gonna lie, this joint is nice. Aye. But I don't like that you don't, it, don't have, it doesn't have a step right here. Like you, can, you ain't got the step to go up, you don't have the step right there. So you gotta, uh, you gotta have them. Hey, if you're short, if you're short, you cannot fit it. You can't go be able to jump up there like that. You gonna have to, uh, yeah, baby. Y'all see me? If your legs are short, this is not gonna work out for you, but it is what it is. This is what we do, we get this money. Now, we do have an order, we have to pull up and get an order. I just wanna tell you guys this. It's not the greatest order, it's actually pretty bad. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do so you can get to this bag. Don't be hating, don't be mad. Now, the pickup location is Base Solutions. We are gonna pick up one item. We're gonna drive 72 miles for 107. 107, three of them! We are here at the pickup. We are here trying to run it up. I'm trying to get bucks and picking so up. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, I can't complain. I have a dispatch order to pick up. All righty. Pretty light, huh? Yep. Not bad. About 50 pounds, that's it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's super sweet. Matter of fact, let me put it up here. As you guys can see, we got this joint hooked up to the bungee. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can run up this money. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop-offs, not they socks, so we're trying to ball like hot sauce. I'm holding this joint in one hand, hold on. Uh. Mm. I have a gift for you. Yes, sir. From Gurney. You're welcome. The paperwork, no, paperwork is right here. What's your name, sir? JR. 
my god, JR. I have to take a picture and I'm good to go. Sit back and the photo. You already know. We go. All right, so you have a good one. Now, I know you're wondering right now, why would you take this terrible, terrible order? I would never drive 72 miles for $107. That's terrible payout. I would never do it. You're wasting your gas. You ain't getting no cash. And if you're hating, hey, get off your and start getting to this money. Now, the reason why I took I take orders like this is now I try not to. I try to get close to this $2 a mile as, as possible, but it doesn't work like that every time. So sometimes you just have to go out there and get what you guys you can get. So this order for was for $107. So I'm, my plan was we're going to go down there. This is past Chicago. Tenley Park. We're going to go down there. We're going to get this order and hopefully we can get another order on our way back. It did happen, but it didn't happen. It did not happen because we were already too close to his home, but another order did pop up. This one was 70 miles for $101.25, but it was six stops. But it was going to take us right towards home, like right towards home. But we could not get it because we was already already up that way. So we had to pass on the place. That's what you got to do. If you're going to be using gig apps and you're not going to be driving over the road and all that stuff, what you're going to have to do is you got to put yourself in a position to get more order so you can go out there and get an order. That was my whole plan about that. Now, I didn't want to drive that 72 miles for $107, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Because guess what? In our pocket, it ain't no blues right now because it's critical because we had to pay for the van, and also we've been having to cancel a lot of orders, so we messing up our scores. So we had to cancel uh, two roadie orders and that deliver order, so that's three orders right there. And before that, we had to cancel that dispatch order from that day when the, uh, the van first messed up, and then we also had to cancel the, the one for the next day. So it's been critical, baby, but it is what it is. We ain't complaining, we maintaining. We are trying to get this chain and grip this grain. So that is what's going on with us in the van right now, in smoke. We, we try to laugh to the bank like it's a joke and it really is, it's critical. So, that's what's going on with Smoke. I am going to keep you guys updated with everything. I think it's probably going to re be a recall or something like that. I think it has some, I'm starting to think since it wasn't the spark plugs, I'm starting, we both say that it may be the fuel, like something wrong with the fuel because they did have to do a recall on the, uh, the van before. They had to drop the, uh, the gas tank and do something. I, don't, I can't remember what it was, but it had something to do with the fuel line. It was a recall on the van. So I'm hoping that's what it's gonna be, something like that. But dealing with this dealership, I, I have no idea how long they're gonna have a van, when they're gonna be able to get to the van, if they're gonna be able to duplicate the problem, if we're like, what's gonna really happen? So I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated. And if you are a mechanic or you or you know anything about Sprinter vans, and this may happen to you or something, comment below and let me know what what what, what do you guys think it is? Is it, the, is it the fuel? Is it like, what is it? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow, because going back down, because we ain't playing around, because all 2024, all we do is pull up the uh, skull. But guess what? We got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it, ZDK, and I'm on my way.